Following breaking news, a large police presence, including homicide detectives, are at a South Tulsa apartment complex. Fox 23's J.J. Burton is live near 61st and Highway 169 with what's going on right now. Yeah, Ron, we're going to go ahead and do an interview with uh, lead homicide detective, Sergeant Dave Walker. He's right over here. He just walked over to this scene. We're going to get the camera ready, and uh, we'll just take this interview live here. Hello, you're really... Hello, hello. Okay, uh, what we're doing right at the moment is uh, securing a search warrant for the residents. Uh, there is a, a male that is dead inside that apartment, uh, dead from a gunshot wound. And you're seeing it as we go, so it's uh, really rapidly uh, evolving and, and really fresh at this point. So we really don't know, have a lot of information. Uh, we heard a disturbance. Yeah, from, the neighbor said there was a disturbance uh, this morning early, probably 1.30 or 2 o'clock. May have heard a gunshot, and that's about all we, we have to work on at this point. Does he have just one gunshot wound, two? Uh, uh, the best we can tell is just one. But I have not really examined the body. We just know that there is a body in there and it's dead. So. Does it look like someone forced their way inside? No. It does not look like there's forced entry. It does not look like there's a big uh, a fight inside. Uh, we just cleared the residence real quick, make sure nobody was in there uh, that we needed uh, to give aid to. And now we're going to have to wait for a warrant, which ought to tell something about the suspect is probably going to be related to that apartment. Did you see a weapon inside? No. No weapon. The witness that you spoke to, did they see anyone leaving or anything like that? Not yet, no. We're, we're, like I said, it's going to be as we go, and we haven't got that information yet. So we don't really know who we're looking for. What our neighbors say? Neighbors just said what I just said, was that they heard a disturbance uh, early this morning, about 1.30 or 2, maybe possibly a gunshot. And that's the end of it. And then he was discovered uh, this morning by his mother. Who called or who reported this? His mother. What time? A little before 7.30. I don't know the exact time. Do we know if he lives alone in there? Uh, no, he does not. His mother lives there. So has she just gotten home or what is... Don't know the circumstances yet. I'm telling you, really... We're seeing it as we get here and trying to get you just as quickly as we can the information we know, and that's basically what we know. We're going to wrap this up real quick. That was Sergeant Dave Walker, who was just talking. Again, he says one uh, male inside the unit over there. You see the police safe up inside. They're dead. He says he doesn't know exactly how many times this person was shot, but believes it was just one per, uh, one gunshot wound in this man's uh, body. His mother is the one who found him. She's the one who called police again around 7-something this morning when she called police. Um, the police say that they spoke to some witnesses who say they heard a disturbance early this morning around 1 or 2 or so this morning and then again the mom found this uh this victim here dead inside this would be tulsa's 79th homicide for the year and we're going to continue to talk to sergeant dave walker again as you heard him say they're learning this as they go so they have very little information we'll get this story up online on fox23.com and of course we'll have another live report soon reporting live in south tulsa covering news that matters jj burton fox 23 news